Hello, this is Mr. Stansberry. I'm going to take you through the notes on arcs and central angles. At the end of this, you should be able to say, I can measure arcs and central angles of a circle. And I can use relationships among arcs and central angles to solve problems. Okay, so first things first, central angle. Central angles are angles whose vertex is in the center of a circle. So ACB, angle ACB is a central angle. Okay. Uh, CA and CB in this case just happen to both be radii. Um, the sum of all central angles is 360 degrees, just like a full circle. Okay. A minor arc is an arc that's less than 180 degrees. So in this case here, DE is a minor arc. It's less than 180 degrees. Um, it's named using just two endpoints, D and E, and it's always assumed if you've got DE, you're going to always measure the short distance, so D to E. The measure of the minor arc is equal to its central angle. So if this is, say, 40 degrees here, this arc measure would be 40 degrees. Okay, well, it'd be a 40 degree arc measure. Anyway, um, a major arc is an arc that measures at least 180 degrees, but is less than 360 degrees. And it's named using the two endpoints and any point that's in between. Uh, so for example here, if, if we've got S to T to U, if I said SU, you would assume that it would be this length right here. But if I say S T U, that gives you the direction that it's going. So S to T to U. So this S T U is a major arc. Okay, and that would be like the interior angle would be from here around to here. Okay. All right. Now, um, oops, we already talked about that. Let's do an example. Given circle C with diameters JR and KQ, so JR and KQ, these are both diameters. Measure of angle RCQ is 50. RCQ, this angle here is... 50 degrees. Okay. Use the definitions for central angle and intercepted arc along with triangle properties to find each of the following. So we're going to find all these different arc measures. So our best bet right now is let's figure out what all these angles in here are all going to equal and we'll be uh, in pretty good shape. So hopefully you can look at this here without the circle and say, oh, look, these are vertical angles. So this over here is also going to be 50 degrees, right? And we know that this here has to be 180 degrees, so 180 minus 50 gives us that this is 130 degrees, which means that this one across from it is also 130 degrees. Okay, so now we've got all the angles in there, so now we should be able to figure this out pretty quick. Measure of arc RQ, so R to Q, 50 degrees, J to Q, so from J around to Q, we figured out already, is 130 degrees. A measure of angle CRQ, um, C to R to Q. Okay, so now we got to figure out what that angle there is. So let's do this. We've got, I'm just going to redraw that. And then away we go. So we know that CR and RQ sorry, CR and CQ are both radii, so this is the same as that. We already know that this is 50 degrees, so we know that all angles of a triangle are 180. Uh, subtract the 50, and we know that these two angles have to add up to 130. Since it's an isosceles triangle, triangle these two angles also have to be the same, so that's simply going to be 130 divided by 2, which is going to be 65 degrees for this one here. Okay, measure of arc J to Q to R is 180 degrees because that's a semicircle. J, K, Q, J to K all the way back around to Q is all of these, so 50 and 50. So it'll be 50 plus 50 plus 130 is going to give us 230 degrees. Okay, and then J arc. JK is 50 degrees. Okay. Okay. 
Um, we've got one last set of examples to go through, but before we do that, let's take a little comedy break, shall we? Hey, here's something I don't think a parent has ever said. Uh, the kids are upstairs playing with all their old Happy Meal toys. I don't think a McDonald's Happy Meal toy has ever made it to sundown. Usually they break as you're taking them out of the cellophane. What is this? Oh, it's broken. Toss it in the trash receptacle. Even if you do get it to work, you never want to do it more than once. So what happens, you push this button, it shoots at four inches? Throw it in the trash. Somebody shut that toy factory down. Okay. Um, here we go. Example two. P, R, and Q, T are diameters of circle A. So let's see. P, R, and Q, T. These are both diameters, so all these are radius, radii or whatever. So find the measure of all these different angle measures. Let's do this. Let's do the same thing we did before. Um, I'm just going to go through and figure out what all of these angle measures are, and it's just going to make our life easier. So if this is 90. We know that this over here is 90 because these two add together to 180. That's 30. We know that this is going to make a 90 degree angle here too. So 30 and 60 give us 90, and 50 and 40 give us 90. So that should be all the all the measures of all those central angles, which will make all of these a lot easier. Okay, U, Q, oops, so that's 90, obviously, since it's right angle. So U, Q is going to be 30 plus 90, which is 120 degrees. U to R to Q is going to be all of these added up, or it's just going to be uh, 360 minus the UQ, which we just figured out is 120, so that'll probably be easier. 360 minus 120 is 240 degrees. Again, we could have done that as doing, let's see, U to R to Q. So we could have done 60 plus 40 plus 50 plus 90 which also is going to equal that's 150 that's also 240 so either way would work just fine u to t we've already figured out is 60 degrees and then let's see q r t well we already were told that q t is a diameter so if it's a diameter that's going to have to equal 180 degrees okay all right, um, that's all there is for notes on arcs and central angles. If you have any further questions, please feel free to ask. Thanks.